Chapter 5, Objective 2 questions. So a lot of students get confused between sales returns and purchase returns. So I created these two questions to help um, clear this up and created this video to help clear this up. So according to the book, sales returns are a reduction in the amount owed by a customer due to the return of merchandise. So the seller sells something and then it later gets returned to them. So the seller would call it a sales return. And then the book calls the purchase or defines a purchase return as a situation in which the seller allows purchasers to return merchandise that is defective, damaged, or otherwise unsuitable. So I think a simple explanation about the difference is just some, is a scenario like this. Let's say Apple sells iPhones to a store called iPhones Galore. Some phones are later returned by iPhones Galore to Apple. So Apple would call this a sales return because Apple sold the phones and the phones were returned to them. So the same transaction though for iPhones Galore, iPhones Galore would call it a purchase return because they purchased the phones and then later returned them. So now let's look at this question. In a perpetual inventory system, merchandise is returned by the customer for a refund. For the buyer, what is that return called? Well, the buyer did the purchasing, so that's called a purchase return. Let's look at the second question. In a perpetual inventory system, merchandise is returned by the customer for a refund. For the seller, the seller would call it a sales return because the seller did the selling, they made the sale, and then later it was returned to them. So make sure you understand the difference between a sales return and a purchase return so you don't get confused.